It's very important that screening is done. It's very important that we try to prevent cancers or treat cancers early in any of those people that do develop the cancer from an HPV positive um, infection. But I also want people to understand HPV is really common and that just because you are HPV positive does not mean you're going to get cancer. It does mean you have to see your doctor. It does mean that you have to get screened. It does mean that you have to be really conscious of symptoms that are related to cancer. So for women, there's a simple test which is able to identify human papillomavirus. Uh, it's incorporated into the way a pap smear is done where scrapings from the cervix are submitted to the lab and at the same time the pap smear is done which means the cells in the sample are looked at under a microscope. Part of the sample is analyzed molecularly and the presence of the virus can be definitively detected. In men, HPV testing is done on a research basis and in some instances it's done to determine whether a particular type of cancer has HPV but routine testing or screening for HPV has not yet been identified uh, as a useful practice for men. For women whose partners have been diagnosed with a HPV positive head and neck cancer, I feel it's important for them to ensure that they have appropriate cervical screening to be uh, confident that the HPV strains that are potentially within their relationship and shared between the two partners are not causing a problem related to the development of genital cancers for the female in the relationship. There are no treatments for human papillomavirus infection at this point. We use HPV testing as a way of assessing a person's risk of having cancers in areas that are susceptible to human papillomavirus infection.